So I'm very excited that the Angelman Syndrome Foundation has decided to fund the work of Dr. Kiyoshi Egawa. Dr. Egawa is going to be looking at the effects of gaboxidol in the Angelman Syndrome brain. And as you may know, Dr. Egawa's original work uh, on gaboxidol led to a clinical trial that is ongoing now from Ovid Therapeutics. So Ovid Therapeutics is now looking at the effects of gaboxidol for therapeutic benefit in the Angelman Syndrome individuals. Now, what Dr. Igawa is proposing to do is to look at how gaboxidol affects different areas of the brain. So his original work was just done in the cerebellum, and now he's extending this work to look at different areas of the brain. And he's also looking at the effects of gaboxidol, not just uh, in an animal model in which UV3A is deleted, but also in patient-derived stem cells in which there's a larger deletion uh, that includes UV3A as well as other genes. So it's critically important to do these types of preclinical studies to guide the ongoing therapies and therapeutic trials that are going on through um, Ovid Therapeutics. And the hope is these additional studies that Dr. Ogawa is performing can provide some feedback so that um, Ovid Therapeutics or other groups can then design even better therapeutics for the future. And that's really what we all want, is to have the best possible therapeutics for individuals with Angelman Syndrome. Hi, my name is Kiyoshi Egawa, Pediatric Department of the Hokkaido University Hospital. Here, I would like to introduce my ongoing research project, thankfully supported by Angelman Syndrome Foundation. Generally, Brain dysfunction is caused by the imbalance between excitation and inhibition in neurons. And GABA is, a, GABA is a major player for mediating inhibition. Recent studies suggest that decreased tonic form of inhibition may be one of the mechanisms for brain dysfunction in angina syndrome. Tonic inhibition is mediated by unique GABA receptors. Gaboxador is an enhancer of this type of GABA receptors and now being studied in a clinical trial to treat individuals with Angema syndrome. To better interpret potential outcomes from the clinical trial, we need to obtain a deep understanding about the tonic emission deficits in Angema syndrome. For this purpose, I am asking two questions in my research. First, are the tonic inhibition deficits the same across the different brain regions? Our, prelimin our prelim preliminary data suggests that while tonic inhibition in the cortex and the thalamus is decreased, tonic inhibition in a region called, called the thalamus may not be decreased. The discrepancy between the brain regions may disturb the regular network processing and the contribute to some kinds of symptoms such as epilepsy in angina syndrome. I will be using UV3A knockout mice to address this question. Second, do individuals with different angina syndrome genotypes have different deficit in in tonic inhibition. Direction positive individuals are missing one copy of the GABA receptor alpha 5 subunit gene, which is important for mediating tonic inhibition. This means direction positive individuals may have lower tonic inhibition than other individuals. We will be using human neurons derived from the uh, Angelman syndrome induced immunopluripotent stem cells with different genotypes to study these questions. This important work may help explain why patients with the right direction show more severe phenotypes, more severe symptoms. GABA F receptor alpha 5 subunit gene is expressed in the cortex and hippocampus, but not in the thalamus. A compound 
which actuates the alpha-5 subunit, the subunit contain GABA receptors can be useful to correct the gap of tonic emissions between the brain regions and gel types. I will test the combination of this compound and gaboxadol to improve, improve various kinds of symptoms in angel machine neural model mice and human stem cells derived neurons. This research proposal will help determine whether the combination of gaboxadol with another therapeutic may better, may, may, may better reduce the deficit in tonic emissions in angel machine neurons.